Hi, welcome back. Certainly glad you could join us today. We're going to be following a Bob Ross tutorial, but using resin. Welcome to the joy of resin. This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform for all your website needs. <sighs> Why am I nervous? <laughs> I don't know, because like, there's no reason to be nervous, because we're using UV resin today, which we control when it cures. So there's not I don't think that means there's pressure. no reason to be nervous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we chose a seascape sunset painting, because one, we haven't done that type of Bob Ross tutorial yet, and two, it seemed more doable with resin. Yeah, gradients, water. Class. We have some experience with that. Also, I just want to show you the very nice um, like fail safes we have so that I can't get resin on the computer. Right. Let's hope this holds up. <laughs> now, Bob, what you got for us? Hi, glad to see you again today. Hi, Bob. Can we do a fantastic seascape? Thought that's what we'd do today. The top part of the canvas is totally covered with a thin, even coat of liquid white. Maybe we'll have a beautiful, bright little sky today. A touch of yellow ochre. Now we have to remember that while he's putting on all those colors, he's putting it on over liquid white. All of that is blending with white. So we need to add white to all of our resins to kind of tone it down. So we're not like painting a rainbow. Now we grab some pigments that generally match his colors. It's not mm -hmm. gonna be the exact same and we're gonna have to wing it a little bit, but. I'm using something that I've never used before. I'm using these really strong liquid pigments to mix in with my resin. I'm gonna use all Perlex. I want it all to be kind of shimmery and shifty because I feel like that'll help hide mistakes. <laughs> this can be really interesting because I'm actually going for his actual colors and you are doing like, a glitter interpretation of it almost. <laughs> sort of. So like Evan said, we're gonna be using UV resin, meaning we can do a layer, blast it with these UV lights to harden it, and then do another layer on top. So yeah, I think we can just take it a chunk at a time. I've got like a yellow and I've got a gold, so I'm gonna do those for my uh, two tones of yellow. So, oh wow, look at that. Dang, oh. that's opaque. That's thick. <laughs> it's not light enough. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, it's like mustard. <laughs> oh, 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 that's not, that's not the color I was going for. <laughs> <laughs> that's baby poop. Oh, oh, it's so brown, it's so, oh no, oh, that's kind of nice. I finally feel like I have enough volume. I think I'm ready. Are you ready? Okay, okay I think I'm, I'm ready to, I don't know, but maybe. I'm gonna go for it, ah! This is my liquid white coat right here. Look at this precision, Caitlin. Ooh. Uh -huh. You know what? I meant to do something earlier, because I'm gonna go off the rails. I'm sorry, Bob. You're not gonna follow Bob's steps? Here, wait, I can't think about that. Here, I gotta do a thing. <laughs> it's kind of hard to reach without getting my shirt resiny. That's not a good horizon line. <laughs> off to a great start. <laughs> Which side was in my mouth? Is that, okay. <laughs> that doesn't seem too off the rails to me. You're still like doing the steps in the same order. Mm, we'll see. Okay, look at this. It's like, it's like painting, but with resin. You know, what is resin but goopy paint? That hardens incredibly hard. Good we're starting on the sky because it's like the most basic. Yeah, once we get to the ocean waves, you kind of want that to look like. Ocean waves. Ocean waves. Yours is abstract. I feel pretty good about that. I think yours is abstract. Oh, oh. I'm really glad that we are trying different techniques because I think it'll be interesting to see how they turn out, you know? More white right there. Mm, this isn't enough. Enough volume of resin? It's not enough volume of resin. I just, what if I, oh. what if I just add some more resin on there? What? I was worried I blew some over onto yours. Oh no, uh, you know. <laughs> so, how do we make it look more like a sky? Bob's already just looks like a sky. My, mine, um, I think yeah. the clouds will help a lot. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Basically just like blasted a sun into existence. <laughs> I'm gonna see if my gamble played off. Come on, take. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's a nice line, baby. Right. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Wall, wall, wall. Okay, just hold on a second. Make sure everything's out of the way. Thank you. Okay, blasty time. 
Oh wait, turn it off. Oh. Huh. Oh, why? There's a there's a bubble in mine. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh. Ooh. <laughs> Look at how wrinkly the texture of mine is. And look at how bubbly the texture of mine is. Oh yeah, yours has lots of little micro bubbles. Mine looks like melted cheese. <laughs> it does look like melted cheese. It's melted cheese. It's so oh. Poke test. Poke test. All right. That's Bob, probably good enough. What do you have for us next? There we go. I guess we didn't actually finish the steps. <laughs> He's still doing this guy. What if he does something completely different that we missed? Together, just straight white. Why? And go right up in this area. And I want this to be very bright, so I'm going to take white and oh. put it right there. Shake them off. Beat the devil out of it. And beat the devil out of them. I'm going to go into a small amount of phthalo blue and grab a little touch of a lizard crimson. What's crimson? Much more crimson. crimson. Red. I want this to be a little bit to the reddish. And let's just begin laying in some happy little clouds. And in your world, you decide where the clouds live. It's tiny little strokes, little circular strokes. That's going to be hard for us to do. I know. And we'll take this and... Yeah, we definitely can't do that. Three hairs and some air. Now then, to really add a little more contrast, I want to show a cloud that's a little closer. Don't overdo. Don't overdo. It's easy to get Don't overdo it. Bob, do you know who you're talking to? If you want to, you can go in here with a, a fan brush and you can add some little streakers. Hmm. Little streakers? That is. I don't know if that's going to happen. There we go. Isn't that a beautiful sky? And you can do it. So, uh, do you, are you are you are you doubting your first layer? Not really. Can I uh, can I uh, I know that this isn't part of the plan, but can I do have like a slight little like redo moment of, of my first layer? Because I like how soft yours are, but I like the bold colors of mine. So I wonder if I do, did you just use like the use magenta? That? I might just pour some of these on there with some resin and then like kind of spread it around. Let's try it. So we'll do that and then we'll do the clouds and yeah. we'll get back to it. <laughs> I'm sorry for your edit that I just messed up. That's fine. I want you to be happy with your work. I want, I want to make some happy little clouds and it's going to be hard for them to be happy if they're on top of cheese sky. It's still gonna be cheese, no matter what. Yeah. That's like the texture of yeah. yours now. It's but still, cheese. But still. You're just gonna, oh. Because I want it to like blend. Because you don't want to lose your colors. Yeah. I also kind of want to like add a little bit of a... Sheen to it. Yeah, yeah. That is saturated. It also kind of softens the edges between your colors since it's another layer. Oh, I definitely like that. That was nice. That was a good addition. I'm gonna just do a little bit more. Ooh. That's really nice, love. Okay, I'm ready for clouds. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm so ready. Okay, really just need two colors, right? Yeah, it's kind of just color and then more concentrated version of that color. Ooh, excuse me. I'm gonna add just like the tiniest amount of black pigment, but I really don't wanna overdo it. I feel like I need some like dark, high contrast because my sky is so dang light. Oh, whoa, that's a dark, that's a dark, that's a dark color. Oh, Bob, I don't know what I'm doing. Now, my big question, do we just do this and paint it on or do we add some clear and then use that to mix, feather the you edges? I wanna add a layer of clear. That seems right. Okay. Yeah, just like a thin thin. Just a thin thin. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start uh, pouring. I will use Shiringas. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. This is nerve-wracking. Oh! Looks a little cloudy. <sighs> I'm getting kind of lightheaded. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't want to... Pass out. Uh, here, you know what? Oh, I don't know what I... I don't know what I feel about that. The dark? I like it. Ooh, yours are looking nice. Thanks, baby. You know, it's all interpretive. Interpretive sky, interpretive clouds. Look how thick this is gonna be when we're done. Definitely thicker than when it started. Yeah, look at that. I got distinct clouds. I think I might need to blast mine soon. This is, we're making something. Yeah. We're making something. Yeah. 
Honestly, so far, I gotta say, pleasantly surprised. I thought it'd be a lot harder to control. Now, so we've seen the final painting. We know that he's about to do this like incredibly detailed wave. I don't know how he does it. He probably just like twirls his magic brush at the painting and a wave appears. Yeah. But I think that's gonna be the hardest part. Yeah, this is like the warm up. <laughs> it's just like the outer layer. Yes? I'm gonna do something very brave. What are you gonna do? If you want to, add some little streakers. <laughs> little streaky clouds. Oh, you're going in for a skinny boy? Do I like it? I like it. <sighs> I'm just gonna keep on going like a little bit. Like this area right here is a little bit weak. Oh. Is that too bold? Is that too bold? I don't know. No, I like the bold. I like the bold. Are we talking enough in this episode? I feel like we're like deep in concentration mode. This is actually a really fun challenge though, which is yeah. why I think we're like so into it. It is, it is so unique. It's something I, I you know, obviously we have never done, but I, I think that there's like something here and I think that's, I'm just so intrigued by it. It's like glossy, thick watercolor. Should we blast? Let's blast. Okay. Are we done uh, with this guy? I, I am down to call this guy good. So interesting how lumpy it is. You can distinctly see the layers on mine with the clouds. Yeah, and you can definitely see like where mine has... Uh, it's got some lumps happening. Some peaks. Stylistic lumps. You know, Are we 3D painting. Are I, we ready to do the next chunk? Let's look. Sort of come in here and sketch out where you want the major wave to be. And let's just say it's gonna live, boom, right there. And this is not a commitment at this time. You can still change it. Zoom, comes up like that. Maybe it comes over. Maybe the foam's gonna crash up in here somewhere like that. Wait, <laughs> I, thought, uh, I thought you'd paint the ocean and then put the wave on top of it. He's just straight up drawing a wave. Shoreline, maybe it'll come. Oh, I get. Okay. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do that. After you practiced a while, it's a very dark. Maybe we'll do it really color. faintly. Maybe there's a little footland back here. What? Are we adding land peninsula now? For, hmm, little peninsula wee back in the distance. <laughs> Bob? All right, now we can begin putting in some of the good stuff. Let's then do the waves. Okay. That's the next Just step, I think. Putting in some happy little. We've gotten a little ahead of ourselves. I just, I just need to know, Bob. I, I know this is, this, is, this is breaking the rules. I just want to see what he does. Oh my gosh. Maybe it's just going, this is just the whole video. You're just looking at oh, the whole Oh, he's adding yellow to the wave. All the splashes. Oh, are we going to add the rocks? Are we going to add the land? I feel like with resin, I'm going to want the waves and the blue to spill over onto the earth. Now, when we are doing the ocean, if we don't have the sand already there, it's gonna be really hard to like have the ocean spill out onto it. I'm gonna go off the rails and I'm gonna go ahead and add the sand before I do the ocean. <laughs> do you wanna join me on this journey or do you wanna follow Bob? I mean, I think we're, we're trying to follow a Bob Ross tutorial with resin. So I think we need to follow the tutorial. <laughs> We're at a turning point where we can decide what's more important, our own perfectionism about how these turn out or following the tutorial. Do we need a cat break? I hear the supervisor in there. Yeah, let's take a little break. <laughs> oh, wise supervisor. What words of wisdom do you have for us? Give me him. Don't lose confidence. Thanks for the encouragement. She's like, this is a good spot. You can stay here. <laughs> yes. Supervisor approves of break. Thank you, Jube. Yes. We should take more cat breaks for the project. Mm. That's enough. All right. Supervisor says back to work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. Oh. And she's done. Nope. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> hey there. Today we're gonna to be making a happy little website with today's sponsor, Squarespace. 
Like many creative people, I bet you've got lots of ideas you want to make a website for. Maybe to showcase your art or sell a product. Just like there are no limits to your imagination, there are no limits on the amount of products you can sell through Squarespace. Much like a layer of liquid white is a great base for your painting, Squarespace provides a base of e-commerce tools for you to build your business off of, like inventory management and an easy checkout process. Squarespace websites work automatically on mobile too. Yes, they do. If you want to join the growing community of creatives using Squarespace, head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, why don't you go ahead and visit squarespace.com slash Evan for 10% off your first purchase of a domain or website. Boop. Are you ready to resin? Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Sorry. We took a cat break, we had some dinner, and I think we decided with our game plan, I am going to stick to Bob's tutorial because I feel like that is in the true spirit of this challenge. And so that's I'm the gonna, true spirit of you. And that is also the true spirit of me, I follow the rules. <laughs> so I'm gonna do exactly what Bob says the best I can in his order with resin. I'm just gonna do it the way I think resin should be. I'm gonna follow the way of the resin. Okay, so he starts with drawing his wave. Now, I've never drawn with resin before. <laughs> he kind of does like a, a swoop de whoop. <gasps> Can you see it? <laughs> okay, and then he kind of does like a little curl where like the, the foam will be. Kinda I think that's a great happy wave, Caitlin. Thanks! <laughs> My shoreline. I'm running out of room a little bit, but. So just... Reminds me of the barn. <laughs> <laughs> Don't speak of the barn. Oh God, it's too much, it's too much. It's like picking up underneath and I'm just seeing the blue from the trees. Oh no. Oh, ah. You're gonna throw off my mojo completely. <laughs> there we go. Oop. <laughs> okay, I feel like I have my outline right. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. That was good. Now I have my guide. All right, my turn. What are you gonna start with? Because if you're not following Bob, I'm still, what are gonna, you doing? I'm still gonna outline things, but the order that we do the elements in after I outline, I am gonna do the beach. Okay. Yeah, beach. <laughs> yeah, beach. Yeah, beach. I have a lot of worries about that wave, honestly. I might make the wave a little bit smaller. Like, like that is a California wave. This is like a Florida wave, you know? <laughs> okay. Okay. We have our yeah. guides for ourselves. Yeah. Okay, a little boop boop later, we're all good to go. How are you gonna get the uh, shoreline? Or like the horizon you... line? I'm gonna freehand it, <laughs> of course. I want this ocean to be really, really dark. I can't Ooh. have, I almost said I can't have a watered down ocean, but that's a little <laughs> bit of an oxymoron. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna be doing my, uh, my sand. So you're starting, you're kind of going bottom up? I'm gonna, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wing it. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm doing the ocean now, I'm gonna add a little bit of blue glitter. That's that's beautiful. It looks you like, like it? a starry night. What do you think about my sand? Is it too dark? I think it's too white. Oh yeah, his is like, his is pretty dark. But what if I mix some of this in? Is this a good or a bad idea? Sorry, I, I can't know. look. I'm trying to make sure my horizon is straight. <laughs> it's not. At least we can go over this multiple times. I will say I like my sparkles. Yeah. Other than that, my ocean's looking kind of weak. But you know, that's what we thought about our sunrise in the beginning. I liked my sunrise. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've been conf pretty confident until this point, honestly. You want to do one more coat now? I'm down to blast it. Let's hope that a second coat of this will make it right. I'm gonna go ahead and start adding my sunset colors. Uh, uh, <laughs> right now I'm like, ooh, oh, oh, ooh, oh, 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 this looks, this looks That's rough, baby. All a bit. This looks bad. <laughs> All right, what does Bob say? Those little circles, just little circles. Circular strokes. Let's get that two inch. Oh, oof. <laughs> it's gone worse. It actually doesn't look that bad on camera. Oh, it's only in person. <laughs> well, that's great. All right, let's blast it. <laughs> Sorry. So when you do your beach. I'm gonna well, have to try really hard not to go over the ocean, yes. Yeah, cause I am having like issues already. You might need to do the beach and then the ocean again oh to like pull it back over it. I'm doing the painting as Bob intended 
in the order. Bob is presenting it. I think next up is doing the little uh, islandy guys. I'll start with one and then we'll see. Definitely just looks like another cloud. Are you gonna not overlap it over the land or over the I sea? Mean, no. His came down into the ocean. I think that was just a reflection. Oh no no. You know, Caitlin. I'm gonna mess it up if I do that. Every painting is a unique expression of beauty. I'm expressing my islands way back here, not interfering with the ocean. I'm gonna do a flood coat of resin. I know we're using like burning through the resin pretty fast here. <laughs> we might have to order more part it's, way through. It's eight at night. We're, we're most of the way through our resin. I thought we were gonna finish this in two hours. <laughs> oh yeah, me too. We are, our estimates were very much not on par with reality. Oh, Kevin. Yeah. The bronze. Oh, that's nice. What a, what is, <laughs> better, worse. I like the copper. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna be bold. Mm. Whoa! Too bold, too bold. Oh, oh, oh no. <sighs> Good thing I put on a lot of deodorant. <laughs> is that too bold? Yes. <laughs> what if I add even more? Even more what? <laughs> just, just, just more? Just, just more in general. <laughs> oh gosh. Mm. Oh no, oh no, it's not good. I don't like it. It's bad. <laughs> oh. There you go. Yeah, swipe inwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, bring, and bringing that yellow inwards, that helps actually because on your top you have a lot of yellow and just a little white, so that actually does help, I think. Ooh, the shimmy, the shimmy oh. stroke. Hey, are you okay? Do you need a little, a little break? It's gonna die. <sighs> I think it's too soon to tell on both of ours. It's too soon to tell on they both, They both yeah. look pretty bad right now. Yeah, yeah. Let's have some fun. Fun? Let's go like right in here. <laughs> Watch here, grab it. Oh no. You just come right up like it. And you uh -oh, that. What have we done now? And maybe there's another Even Bob one. messed up. Right here. And then right along there. See, just work that back. See, we can't do that. Pay mm -mm. very, very close attention to angles. All you want to leave in here is the dark area. This is a time what? when the dark what? areas are much more what? than the light areas. What? Right Those are here. waves with with, so with breaking crest. Yeah. He left a little bit of white. A little white as the breaking crest. Mm. That's we mm. look pretty already. That's uh, where it goes downhill. Okay. For me. Yeah, then we can go. My time right is coming. A little bit of white. Can we cheat by adding some okay, acrylic? Good. Just I'm already cheating. Right on the power. Just add a little bit of dark color right here. I didn't expect ideas. dark on the crest. Follow that basic angle. Just use some titanium white. Grab this and pull it. Oh. Pull it. Oh. Strokes are very important. You might need to wash oh. or wipe your brush. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how to do that with resin. You can't get like strokes. Like you can't get strokes. No, you strokes. can't get strokes. Let's go right in here. So adding some sunset colors into the, the wave. That makes the painting so pretty. Oh, look at that. Cool. That's already a lot. Do you want to start? Yeah. My brain's already having trouble keeping yeah. up with everything. And I, I gotta do waves, I gotta do more waves, I gotta do yellow. What are I you gonna something. do? I'm gonna do yellow right there in advance because all of the dark goes over that. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna continue to work by Bob's word. I'm glad Maybe. You, get, you do this before I do. <laughs> yeah. So we kind of did. Oh, right now it just looks like one of those like glitter gel pens, like those glitter glue pens. I don't know if this is gonna make you feel better or not, but it looks better on camera than it does on person. Well, everyone's gonna be seeing it on camera, so it does make me feel a little bit better. Yeah. Oh, Juba! Do you want it, looks, it looks pretty good from the top down, too. Okay, I'll let the supervisor out. Doobie, I need your encouragement. What do you think? So many encouraging things to say. Wow. Hi! Doobie, what do you think of our work so far? C plus. Very she came out here to save the video. Yeah, if this all goes downhill, we'll just start this is the whole adding video. more cat footage. <laughs> there she goes. Hi, hello. I'm sorry I can't pet you. I've got resin hands. I'm sorry. 
Oh, oh you may. Oh, Give pet. I'm sorry, oh, I cannot pet you. Oh, she wants pets. Oh, oh Juby. Here, I give you pets. They're not as good as, as Caitlyn's, but... Is acceptable. Oh, the way of looking. I think I like it. Okay, baby. Are you ready for this? I'm ready for this. <gasps> Ooh, started it out heavy over here. Oh, boy. Smooth wave. Smooth wave. Is that brush solidified? Yes. <laughs> it, it sounds like I was just... Like, <laughs> scraping it. <laughs> scraping along. Now brush. I'm going to do like he did, where he... Wipes and swipes. Wipes and swipes. Wipes? Oh, I wiped way too much. Oh no. I, mean, I might just have to do this in a few layers because I am like taking away a lot. It looks great on camera. <laughs> go, go right. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Thank you. Is that probably too much? Yes. Am I okay with it? Yes. Ooh. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Juicy. We have one more bottle. Oh man. After the pumpkins, I, I was like, wow, a little resin goes a long way. Covered a whole pumpkin. Yeah, but we know how that turned out. <laughs> you were meant to be the chosen one. You were the chosen one. <laughs> maybe and, we should have used more. Maybe we should have used more. Just begin blending this. Okay, so he is blending the yellow into the blue. And we're gonna begin picking up rich lavender color we have Yes, down yes, here. yes, 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 okay. And blending it right up into it. This is really tough to get a smooth gradient. From like a dark blue to a pale yellow, you're getting a pretty good blend. Agitate, agitate. What's happening? I'm gonna try blowing it. Oh my gosh! Well, that's kind of cool. Ooh. Okay. This is definitely nerve wracking for me because I don't want to go over what I just did. I'm going to be doing delicate work right now. I have the lower wave crashing. I'm about to do the upper wave crashing and I'm going to do it by being bold. Whoa. Oh, do I like it? Do I like it? It honestly looks more like a wave than mine. Thank you. That's what I was going for. Okay. I'm like ma making my plan in my head. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start working on the beach a little bit more. Oh yes. Ooh. Huh? It's cool. Does it look like water? Maybe if you added some white? Yeah, you're right, because it wouldn't really be dark blue. Okay, am I confident? Yes. Oops, it jammed. Oh no. Probably because this is one that was partially cured. Oh. 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 Squeezing out a noodle. Oh. 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 Okay, it's okay, back in action. Blow it. Yeah. What do you think about the white and blue mixed together? I think it's a little odd that the blue is at the end, but I don't know if you could change that now. It's not great. It's not bad. You could always just extend your ocean, have no beach. <laughs> I might be into that. That's my backup plan. <laughs> if my beach doesn't work out. <laughs> just cover it in more More ocean. ocean. Let's see what Bob has to say, even though you're not gonna listen to him. Take his brush and just lay it over and oh, just- Oh, he's really doing more dark. Get Whoa. tough with it. Get more dark. Think about water churning. Oh my gosh. I just spent so long getting my yellow gradient perfect. Splashes. Oh my gosh, he's covering up most of it. He's covering up so much yellow. No, Bob. Oh. You're killing me. Fill this in. This ah. needs to be good and dark also. He's covering all of my work. Right. Continue this angle. Just grab it and bring it through. <laughs> Bob, you didn't tell me this ahead of time. Okay. Ooh, oh, he's grabbing white. He's grabbing white. You might want to watch this too. Sort of hold the brush here and give it a little upward push. Whoa. And it's that upward push. That's Whoa. where the splash happens. And when you begin running out of paint, turn it over. Plenty of oh, paint. That curve doing it, right there. He's doing it kind of like at the bottom of the froth. See yeah. how there's like the lines he did? Splashing the frothy paint. lines. Oh my gosh. Oh. Of beautiful little things are happening. <laughs> there. Two inch brush, just the corner. And he's so and just freaking brave. Up. Very gently bring all this together. 
for her. Okay, so got to do more dark here, cover up all my work, then add a light little swooshy swooshies. You can clearly see my first layer under it. So I'm gonna try to add my like big foamy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like his big fluffy floofles. Think frothy thoughts. Think frothy thoughts. See how he kind of goes like up and out? Yep, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> my shape is Your just shape different. Your shape is different, yeah. And like that movement doesn't make sense. This is a Florida wave, you gotta remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah Florida wave. <laughs> it's very interesting to see our different styles come out in our resin techniques. form. Yeah, in resin yeah. form. You know, enough layers, you can't really tell what's going on. You just have to step back and like squint your eyes a little bit and you're like vaguely oceany. Man, his wave goes up so far, it is crashing over the horizon. Oh yeah, I see, I see the froth, Caitlin. See my froth? Look at you, just Did like Bob. You... Yeah, that's like 3D. My wave is making its way above the horizon. Bold and frothy, bold, bold and frothy, bold and frothy, bold, bold and frothy. I wonder how many dollars in resin we've used. <laughs> Those big tubes are like 50 bucks a piece, right? Yeah. So at least 50 bucks. <laughs> All right. Okay. Wanna watch some more? Let's do it. Oh, so he's adding more shiny wave details, kind of like you did, like little liney details. Oh! That one in. All right. Yeah. And let's begin working on some oh, no. little things that are just floating right on down through oh. here. All oh, kinds of little... water veins. This is where you begin like forming veins. the wave. What's happening? <laughs> I feel like it's just not really showing up. It's adding some texture. Yeah, it looks good on the overhead. Oh, your wave crash though, looks great. On the overhead? Look at that. Ooh, wow, oh. Mine just looks confusing. I'm like, is there a, a hole in the <laughs> ocean? I should have followed along with his colors. Yours looks like it's splashing. Mine looks like a hole. It's just, it's a wave opening up its mouth to say. Ah! Oh man, do I, do I, do I? Do I try to fix that? I think I know what I need to do, but it makes me nervous to do it. This top white part shouldn't really be here because this is the wave. It goes like this. That is just like the back of the wave. I need to make it darker like yours. Okay, I'm gonna get to work. This is daring, but you know, daring is a name that I have been referred to as. Ooh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> It's even more like a hole. <laughs> I don't know if our audience is cursing me or cheering me on at this point. Yeah, are they saying go Evan, go, or stop Evan, stop? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it looks to me way more like a wave crashing. Yeah, how's this looking over here? Kind of like tree branches, little veiny. Okay, shall we keep going? Yeah. Put right on there, just like we did the sky. Some bright red. And he makes that look pretty easy. Just blend it together. And then let's come right in here. Oh, 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 oh. All oh. kinds of happy little foam things. Oh, wow, yeah, he has a lot That's of foam. That's a lot of foam. That's a lot of foam. I might even add even more. And let's have maybe just some sand. Comes right, there it is, look at there. Okay, so if I do sand, I'll do that over my water reflection. I'm gonna get out the same colors I did for my sky, basically. Time to carefully apply this. I don't want it going over my water. Pretty smooth gradient. Ooh, that was beautiful, wow. Thank you. Lock it, baby. It's time for me to be bold again. I was looking up inspiration photos. Look at that. How like the sun is reflecting on the water. I'm gonna add some sun reflections in the water. Ooh boy, I'm excited. <laughs> this could mess up the entire thing. Isn't that exciting? Yeah, this is like story of your process though. <laughs> what can I mess with? <laughs> oh, I tore my glove. It's fine. Yeah, just let me dip into my palette to get some you know, get some, uh... Yellow. Ooh, 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 yeah. Can okay, watch this? Oh, what? Anyways, I'm just gonna add more detail to the background. Do you ever think you'd be finger painting with resin? Uh, never. Oh, this is fun. I'm gonna do too much. <laughs> Look at us. Look at how far we have come. You know, we, this is the first time we have ever done resin art in this way. And we're developing new techniques. And already I feel way more confident. I'm really proud of it for Me a first too. attempt. Me too. I mean, we're not done, but yes. 
Oh, I'm so, so glad I fixed that wave. Yeah, I feel that was so a good choice. Relief. That was bad. It was bad. It was kind of like a gaping mouth. <laughs> and then I'll do my little edge frothies. You can't just do these with a quick brush stroke. I have to like manufacture his brush strokes in precision mode. Yours is looking real nice. Thanks, baby. I'm definitely having a lot more fun now that we're just like playing around. I'm not playing around. I've been serious this whole time. <laughs> I think I might keep watching. All right, let's do it. And let's have a happy little stone. It lives right there. This is just Van Dyke Brown. He's just out of the stone. Shoot, I'll tell you what, we'll have another little stone right there. Palette knife. Can I pull a little bit down? Okay, so this is gonna be a struggle. Grab it. Makes a reflection. The least little touch of some highlights on here. I'll try a stone. Ah! I think we'll call this painting finished. I sincerely hope you've enjoyed it. That'll give you a good idea of how to do a fantastic seascape. Happy painting. God bless. Okay. The rocks. Okay. Depending on how yours come out, I may or may not attempt them. I've remained pretty loyal to Bob's vision thus far, but this is like a, uh, this is a moment. You make know? or break. This is a make or break. Just gonna try to draw. Little rocks right there. Oh, baby. So there's a rock of some sort. It's a cat rock. Looks like Jube. Happy little. Happy little fade. It no. truly is Jube. Oh, hello. You've summoned her. Hello. So we add like a few more. Jube, is it a rock? Is me. Scrape right there. Nice, nice. <sighs> Scrape. That does look more rocky. Hey! Doobie, thank you. Thank you for helping. Thank you for the support this whole time. Give me him. We really appreciate it. All right, I'm gonna do one more rock. This white was just... Whoa! <gasps> Can I erase it? Oh, that's plenty. Yeah, I do like the rocks on mine. This makes me so nervous. Oh, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Here's a scraper and uh, good luck. <laughs> thank you. I was about to say, will we finish this before midnight? The answer is no. It's 12.01. <sighs> I'm gonna start with the little guy and then you do your reflecty. This view just kind of shows off how textured everything is. Oh, that's some nice detail, baby. I'll do the other rock. All right. I'll do the other rock. <gasps> oh God. <laughs> oh my gosh, baby. It looks okay. Okay, I'm logging him in. This is uh, the most work I've put into a piece of art in a long time. I know. Am I done? Am I done? We must sign our work. <laughs> Please let me be able to write my own name without messing <laughs> up. Back down. Oh. I know. <laughs> what a miracle. Oh, we've been doing this since 4 p.m. today. It's been a learning process and I'm happy that we took this on. Me too. I feel like I've grown as a resin artist and as an artist. <laughs>I think that this was a very successful experiment. I would say so too. Maybe it took us close to eight hours, but we had a good time. Yeah, we did consider covering the entire thing in resin. Like a thick coat of clear resin. Yeah, like pour over. But we just ended up painting the sides black and it looks really good, it looks finished. I uh, like that we didn't hide the textures of yeah. the waves and stuff. It's a 3D resin, 100% resin painting. How many people have this in their house? Not many. Well, I mean, we're two people. <laughs> we're not, we haven't yet fully merged into a single entity. Not yet. <laughs> All right, guys, if you want more Evan and Caitlin content, we have two gaming channels. We have a podcast and a second channel, and we live stream on Twitch. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and we'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Boop. How's your shirt? Have you gotten any drips on it yet? I thought I had some drips, or I thought I had like some black powder, but it's actually cat hair. Oh, okay. Which is usual. <laughs> I'm gonna see what the cleric's prices are. Oh, there's a fancy boy. I know he like. I knew he liked to hang out around here. <laughs> All right, fancy boy. Hello, fancy boy. I hear you like to hang out around here. Wait, why are 